Hey guys, it's Dan, your host here at Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another Fear of the Walking Dead video leading up to Season 6. Kind of closely, kind of, you know, starting to get back into some Fear of the Walking Dead videos because, you know, when The Walking Dead was on in Season 10, we really just did not talk about fear at all. But, you know, with the Sherry news and this one right here, I definitely want to give my thoughts on as well. Scott Gimple, um had an article about Fear of the Walking Dead, and I want to kind of mention the fact that he talked about uh, kind of almost bringing the three shows together, Fear of the Walking Dead, The Walking Dead, and World Beyond, kind of almost that maybe at the same timeline or something like that, and kind of giving my thoughts on season six, maybe having another time skip to possibly align with the timeline of World Beyond and the original Walking Dead, which would be uh, I think seven or eight years, so let's talk about it. I've already been on the wrong side of taking what people need. Tell them they're making more enemies than friends out here. And we got more bullets than we know what to do with. We're not doing careful. We're doing right. Okay guys, so I want to do this video for Fear of the Walking Dead, leading up to, of course, Fear of the Walking Dead uh, Season 6. Uh, we did get this one from Scott Gimple, of course, another article uh, with uh, Scott Gimple. So, uh, you know, Scott Gimple finally has kind of been giving us something for all these, you know, different types of uh, Walking Dead series. We got the Rick Grimes movies, we got information about that a little bit. Um... He's talked about season 10. He's talking about fear now. So, you know, I want to say, you know, a thank you to Scott Kimple for actually finally giving us something, you know. But, um, this one concerning Fear of the Walking Dead. Okay, so, uh, this one was brought to my attention by Eastside Badger. And then I kind of, you know, I, I looked this one up and I, I saw this one pretty much right away. Um, which is that we're going to apparently see in season six of Fear of the Walking Dead a time skip. Now, I don't know what kind of time skip, and I'll explain what I mean by what kind of uh, time skip in a minute. It's just that I don't really understand why they would do a time skip right now after the uh, the cliffhanger with Morgan. Uh, wouldn't you want to you know see right after what happens with Morgan, or are they going to do something stupid and never show Morgan again? You know. Um, that is my whole thing, because it's like, do they maybe not want to kill off Morgan and fear the Walking Dead because they feel like they don't deserve to kill Morgan in the spinoff? They want to kill Morgan in maybe a movie or in the, reg uh, the regular TV show, not in, you know, the spinoff or something, and then maybe they're going to do a spinoff. I, or, I don't know. It, it's just, it's it's really just kind of uh, one of those things where I'm not really sure why they would do a, a time skip between season five and six of Fear of the Walking Dead because of that cliffhanger specifically, unless you want to just ignore that that even happened you know um so you know the the first thing i want to say and this is why i'm kind of freaking out so much is that it sounds like we may actually see fear the walking dead line up with the timeline or at least close because of this time skip uh to where the walking dead is at right now which is like 10 11 years in the apocalypse that would mean that Fear of the Walking Dead would have to skip, like, eight years. Like, we would have to see, like, eight years between season five and six. And with the cliffhanger with Morgan and stuff like that, this just sounds like a mess. Uh, if, if that's the case, if that's what we're seeing. Um, so really what I want to ask you guys is, do you guys think this makes sense that they would do a cliffhanger, uh, or, like, a, a cliffhanger at the end of season five and then skip, you know, seven, eight years uh, and somehow that would work, you know, like, do you guys see that happening? Uh, unless they show some kind of flashback or something, which would just be, it would just be a mess. Like, after a while, it'd be like, this happened here, this happened here, this happened, you know, catch up with the timeline and stuff like that, just to be where Walking Dead is, uh, you know, in the timeline and stuff. It's just kind of a dumb idea, if you ask me. So, um... I don't know, write your comments in the comment section below. What do you think about this idea of uh, Scott Kimball saying that we may get a time skip that may actually line up with the Walking Dead uh, timeline right now uh, with the main, you know, the main series? Or do you think that maybe what they'll do is that they'll skip a little bit of time at the beginning of season six and then, you know, throughout season six, maybe we'll catch up with the timeline of Walking Dead somehow, but not actually at the beginning of season six, skipping all this time, you know, because 
To me, that just makes no sense, to be honest. So, anyway, write your comments in the comment section below. What do you think about uh, this whole thing with Scott Gimple letting us know that we're going to we're gonna see a time skip between Season 5 and, uh, and 6? And do you guys think that it is accurate that we may actually, according to what people are saying, may actually line up a little bit towards where the Walking Dead timeline is and where the World Beyond timeline is so, you know, Fear, can, fear the Walking Dead can catch up? Because I'm just like doesn't make sense you know it just it doesn't make sense because you know morgan the cliffhanger like maybe if we didn't have a morgan death cliffhanger and the group was just separated for seven eight years i could understand that because they were all separate but at the end of season five but with the cliffhanger with morgan i'm just like please do not just ignore the cliffhanger when you return in season six address it show us how we got out of there and if he died show us that too honestly like please don't skip anything don't do a season three to season four damn explosion and then season four nothing happened type of thing with this between these seasons. I just that's all I got to say at this point. So anyway, guys, uh, sorry. I just I'm, I really hate you know just this this whole thing with the time skip and stuff. It's just with a cliffhanger with Morgan, you just can't do that. That's really just that simple. So anyway, guys. Write your comments in the comment section below. If you're new here, click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my Walking Dead videos. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. And, of course, peace out.